welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another KonMari method video and this is in the kimono category. If you don't know about KonMari method, it's about keeping only the things that spark joy in your life and that make you happy. The KonMari category that I'm doing today, like I said, is kimono and it will be the skincare products. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in um, my linens with that category too because I'm going to be doing my whole linen closet and it houses all our skincare products and um, like travel bags for our skincare products and our towels and that kind of stuff. I've been putting this off for a while because I knew I wanted to make a video on it and I'm finally getting around to it. We got back from Disney two days ago and our closet is pretty um, embarrassing how dirty it is <laughs> because we've been pulling our travel mini travel bags out of there and just different um, skincare products that we needed for our Disney trip so it definitely needs some help so I'm going to show you guys the process um, of how I'm getting rid of things and keeping things and um, I'm going to also show you the finished product which will hopefully be a beautiful organized linen closet if you want to see more KonMari Method videos, make sure you check out the playlist in the iCard um, above, and I'll also have my other videos linked below. Let's go! Okay guys, so here is our linen closet before. It's a fairly good size, and um, I'm happy about that, but unfortunately it also is a, a very big mess. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to start by taking everything out and going through every single item in here. And I forgot to add that you also have to get um, skincare products from anywhere else in um, the house. So I'm going to so I'm going to be getting skincare products from like my purse because I have lipstick and perfume in there I think and any products that I have in my medicine cabinet and um, even in the shower so I'm going to be getting all that stuff together and sorting through it. Walking hand in hand on the ocean floor Down deep we wonder Louder we sing, no there is no cure Hey guys, this is it. This is everything I've gathered from my linen closet and all of our cabinets in our bathrooms and medicine cabinets. And let me tell you what, this is a lot of crap. A lot of crap that we probably don't need to have. So it's going to feel really good to go through it and get rid of it. Okay guys, so it's later on in the day today and my husband and I just got back from a little dinner date and I have to finish all this if we want to go to sleep in our bed tonight. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of um, overwhelming all the stuff that I got to go through. It's already like 8.30, 8.45 at night. Got to go through all this stuff and only keep what? Oh, my husband's shorts end up there but yeah only keep the things that make me happy and spark joy and that I absolutely need let's get started strange brew is what we're used to here's Gary he's my cute kitty and Rex is over there too can y'all see him? He's a cute kitty too. Run away to the sunset. Run away with the sky I fall behind. A strange brew is meant for me and you.
so we have three of these, I don't even know what the name of them is, but we got these while we were in Korea. They're pretty much, you put them over your mattress and it kind of acts like a mattress cover, but it's just like a blanket with some sort of um, non-slip material on one side. And we have three of, we have three of them and I always thought, maybe I'll keep these in case we need it for a picnic or when we go camping. But look how big these are. <laughs> like they take up so much room. So I'm thinking this is going to have to be one of the things that doesn't spark joy anymore. Even though I got them during our beloved tour in Korea for, we were there for two years. But yeah, they, they just don't spark joy. So I'm going to have to say farewell. It's the next day. I ended up um, working on going through the stuff for about an hour or so and I just got too tired. It was like 10.30 and I was like, okay, I gotta stop. But anyway, I um, am going to start going through each one of these bins and I actually attempted to be somewhat organized by labeling these, but as you can tell, there's the labels um, don't really aren't really working right now because there's uh, random stuff in each of the bins so I'm gonna go through empty each one of these bins and make sure that I sort them out again organize it all again and put them back in the correct bin and if you guys haven't seen a cute kitty two cute kitties I should say Here's one, his name's Rex, and here's Gary. Look how cute he is. Got your dose of cute cuteness for the day. Cause he's a cute kitty. <laughs> I'm weird, I know, but I love my kitties. I just wanna get you on my grid sometimes, on my grid sometimes. doing this I'm looking at any of the products that I've had for over a year most lip products and skin products they have you know an expiration date on it so I'm gonna go ahead and throw away any of those products that I know are over a year old okay so I've got everything sorted out into little piles I got like lotions together soaps and body wash together this is all my hair stuff and I went ahead and kept all these um, skin products in here and um, yeah I just got it all sorted out and now I'm going to determine which bins all the products would fit most appropriately in and um, start putting it back in our linen closet <laughs> Check it out. 
My bed is clear and all I got is this cute kitty on there. And this is all the trash that I found within the linen closet stuff. And this is all the stuff that I'm going to donate. And now I'll show you what the linen closet looks like. Okay, y'all. Here is the finished product. Would you look how awesome that looks? I mean, I can't believe how much better <laughs> this looks. But I'll go through real quick and show you guys what all is in here. So over here, I just have my extra um, camera that I don't use, but I have for backup purposes. And here I have all my mini travel bags um, that we take whenever we travel. And in here, I have um, all the extra makeup and like stuff for the girls to wear on Halloween for their faces and uh, whatnot. And over here we have our kids' medicine, the skin and vitamin medicine, and cold stomach and headache medicine. And over here I have all our nail stuff. This um, bag is gel nail stuff and this is just regular fingernail polish. And this is my daughter's bag of fingernail polish. Here I keep my makeup. I do my makeup in random places, <laughs> so I just like to keep it in here and carry it with me wherever I decide to do my makeup for the day. And here I have all my perfumes. Here and here are all my essential oils. And in here I have all my um, contact solution stuff and anything related to eye care. And here's all my masks for my face, face mask stuff. And in here I have extra razors and razor heads. And in here is extra cotton balls and anything related to teeth. Yeah. And here I have all my hair supplies and this has more hair supplies. And I use little containers like it's the glass container and um, empty tin cans to have my brushes and stuff upright and in here is all my skin care supplies and this is all the extras like empty containers and extra um, like shampoos and stuff from hotels <laughs> you can tell I go to hotels a lot and this is extra Skin supplies like hydrogen peroxide, aloe vera, and down here I keep all the sheets and pillowcases. That is the cord to the our electric um, blanket, but I don't know where it is at the moment. So when I find it, I'll put it back in there. And here are all our extra blankets and extra sheets and more extra blankets. And then I have this whole space right here that is empty. So I'm sure it'll get filled within probably five or six months from now, but until then, I hope I can keep this fairly organized because this is amazing to look at. Oh, and I just wanted to point out that um, I would, if I had the time in a perfect world I would like paint this backboard here white and I actually don't even know why that is back there maybe something to do with the plumbing and I would you know paint these shelves but I actually like the the um, liner that the previous owner put on these shelves because it reminds me of Denmark so it does uh, spark joy for me so um, yeah I also wanted to point out that um, I decided I'm not going to keep the towels in the linen closet anymore. I'm going to keep them in the bathroom. We have quite a bit of space under the sinks in our bathroom, so I'm just going to keep the towels in the bathroom because nothing is worse than getting out of the shower and realizing you don't have a clean towel in there. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to keep my towel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and watching me clean my linen closet and use the KonMari method while I did so. 
Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Um, I'm really close to 400 subscribers, so that's amazing. Um, hopefully that will come soon. But anyway, um, make sure you check out my other KonMari videos if you like this one. And give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.